Welcome back to Intro to Logic. In this video, we'll be going over the formal fallacy denying the antecedent. Let's get started. Denying the antecedent is an invalid form of reasoning where one reasons from a conditional and the negation of the antecedent of the conditional to the negation of the consequent of the conditional. So here's the formula. We have a conditional, the negation of the antecedent of the conditional, and the negation of the consequent of the conditional. And here in symbolic form you see we have a conditional as premise 1, if p then q, and then we have the negation of the antecedent, which would be not p, and we try to derive the negation of the consequent, which is not q. Let's look at some examples now. Consider the example, you will miss class if you take a nap, you do not take a nap, therefore you do not miss class. So in order to see whether this is a form of denying the antecedent, the first thing we can do is put the argument into symbolic form. So the first thing we need to do is break up our assertions. Here we have a conditional. If you take a nap, you will miss class. So let's represent the you take a nap with the letter N and you miss class with the letter M. So we have if N, then M. You do not take a nap would be not N and therefore you do not miss class would be not m. So we have premise 1, premise 2 is not n, and therefore not m. So then just step back and ask yourself, do we have the formula for denying the antecedent? In other words, do we have a conditional? Yes. Do we have the negation of the antecedent of that conditional? And the answer is yes. And do we have the negation of the consequent as the result, and yes. So here we have a clear case of denying the antecedent. And the thing you just need to keep in mind is that you could plug in any assertions for n and m or p and q as we saw in the last example. As long as you maintain this structure of argument, it's going to be an invalid form of reasoning, and it's going to specifically be a form of denying the antecedent. Here's another example. If you live in Ann Arbor, then you live in Michigan. You do not live in Ann Arbor, therefore you do not live in Michigan. So again, to figure out whether this is a form of denying the antecedent, an invalid form of reasoning, let's rewrite this in symbolic form. So we have you live in Ann Arbor as our first assertion. We'll represent that with the letter A. Then you live in Michigan. We'll represent with the letter M. You do not live in Ann Arbor can be not A and you do not live in Michigan, not M. So now we can write the argument in symbolic form. We have premise one, if you live in Ann Arbor, then you live in Michigan, if A, then M. Premise two, you do not live in Ann Arbor, therefore you do not live in Michigan. And so what we have is a conditional, the negation of the antecedent of the conditional, and our conclusion is the negation of the consequent of the conditional. And this, again, is a clear form of denying the antecedent. So this is an invalid form of reasoning. Be sure you get familiar with what denying the antecedent looks like. Keep in mind that any argument that follows this form is an invalid form of reasoning. Another way to think of an argument or to identify whether an argument is invalid is to think about the argument just intuitively. Just consider a case where someone tells you, hey, if you live in Ann Arbor, then you live in Michigan. You don't live in Ann Arbor, so you must not live in Michigan. Anyone who'd said that would clearly be making a mistake because we know that there are other places in Michigan you could live. Right? It could be the case that premise one is true. If you live in Ann Arbor, you live in Michigan. And premise two could be true. You do not live in Ann Arbor. So both those premises could be true, but the truth of those premises doesn't bring about the conclusion. It wouldn't follow that you then do not live in Michigan. There are many other places in Michigan you could live. Maybe you live in Milan, maybe you live in Kalamazoo, uh, Petoskey, or so on. It's clearly possible that you simply live somewhere else in Michigan. This has been an Intro to Logic video on denying the antecedent. Hopefully by now you're feeling more familiar with how to identify forms of invalid reasoning, especially forms of denying the antecedent. 